This stretch of the M3 in Hampshire was destined to become one of the latest smart motorways. But here and at 10 other locations, construction had already been halted over serious safety concerns about sacrificing the hard shoulder for an extra lane. Now those and three other planned schemes will be scrapped for good. But Claire Mercer, whose husband Jason was killed on one, says more needs to be done. I'm pleased with the news um, and I'm pleased that it's gone on to cover routes that are being built at the moment as well, but it doesn't go far enough. It doesn't cover existing roads and of course it's the existing roads that are killing us because people are being left as sitting ducks in live lanes. Jason's van was stranded on what was once the hard shoulder after a minor crash. It was then hit by a lorry and he and another man died. But so have many others. During his leadership campaign, Rishi Sunak vowed to ban all new smart motorways if he was elected. And now, as Prime Minister, he says he's making good on that promise. In recognition of the lack of public confidence, as well as financial pressures, it's set to save around a billion pounds. But for Claire, it's proof it's all about money. I think it's very cynical of the government to be motivated by the budgetary sides of it. You know, when we were saying, you know, this is human lives, this is costing human lives, that for four years they've not been interested. The decision to suspend construction was made in January last year to allow time for safety data to be collected. Motoring groups have welcomed the decision to scrap it altogether. 37% of breakdowns are in a live lane. If you're broken down in a live lane, you're dependent on the technology spotting you, you're dependent on a red X coming up, you're dependent on other cars abiding by that red X. Those are too many risks to take. Work is continuing to build 150 emergency areas on the smart road schemes already in action. They make up 10% of the country's motorway network. And while that's the case, campaigning will continue. Emma Birchley, Sky News.